from Hollywood. The Jack Benny Program, with Jack's special guests, George Burns and Gracie Allen. CBS backstage. Yeah. Need more makeup. Phone call for George Burns. Phone call for George Burns. George Burns. Oh. oh, Gracie's not there either, huh? Well, keep trying. I don't know where she is. <laughs> George, you found Gracie? Not yet, and I've looked everywhere. George, what are we going to do? Now, Jack's show goes on the air in about 15 minutes, and you and Gracie are supposed to be the guest stars. Look, Don, relax. The show is going on. I talked Jack into taking Gracie's place. You mean Jack's in there dressing up like a woman? That's right. Took a lot of arguing. He even threatened to kill himself. Kill himself? George, look, are you sure Gracie doesn't know she's supposed to be here today? Of course. Look, Don, why don't you go out front? You know, Gracie, she might be standing in line with a ticket. about it. You were dressed as a girl in Charlie's aunt. Well, that's different. That was in one of my movies. Oh, yeah, nobody saw it. <laughs> of course not. So 
takes a long time to dress like a girl. How are you coming? I don't know, George, but I think I've got this thing on wrong. I look like the hunchback of Notre Dame. <laughs> Turn it around. Turn it around. <laughs> well, if I was... Where'd you get it? From Don Wilson. <laughs> He's still around, but not so far of a bully body. <laughs> well, give it to me. I'll be in my dressing room, Jack. Okay, okay. Hey, mister, have you finished my face yet? Oh, I knew this would happen. I've run out of makeup. Yeah, but don't worry. I asked my assistant to bring me some more. Rochester, look out in the corridor and see if the man is coming with more makeup. Yes, sir. I'll take that. <laughs> Did my makeup get here? For a moment, I thought so. <laughs> yes, sir. I know this is Mr. Benny. <laughs> Mr. Benny's sponsor. Yes, that's his dressing room there. He's getting made up. Well, I won't bother him now. Yes, sir. Thanks. Uh, do you have your dress on yet, Mr. Benny? I've got it on. I've got it on. Uh, good. Then all we have to do is put on these false eyelashes, and we'll be all finished. What? I dropped the eyelashes. Where? I don't know, but one of your tonsils is winking at me. <laughs> You're the most stupid makeup man I ever saw. Don't shout at me. What? If you didn't remind me of my wife, I'd punch you right in the nose. <laughs> well, I'm not your wife, and get off my lap. I'm already finished making me up. Oh, Jack! First thing you know, I won't even Jack! 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 Really Jack, look, the show goes on in just a few minutes, and you haven't heard the sportsman quartet rehearse the number they do at the opening of the show yet. Well, I haven't got time for that. Well, only take a minute. Come on in, fellas. <laughs> One, two, three. On the black ball, Mary, line up in the air. We bring you the guest stars on tonight's program, America's beloved couple, George Burns and Gracie Benny. beauty parlor. Oh. And George, I heard the most wonderful joke over there. You want to hear it? Sure, we'd all up to hear it. Had everybody dying laughing. Well, let's, let's hear it. Well, one fella said to the other fella, if you don't think so, brother, you ought to see my wife. <laughs> <laughs> is, uh, is this the whole joke? Oh, no, there was a lot of stuff ahead of it that I didn't hear, you see, but this is the line that had everybody dying laughing. <laughs> Uh, Gracie, I, I, I don't think you ought to tell that. Too risque. Too naughty. 
let's let's uh, let's talk about your brother. All right. Which one should we talk about? The one who's married or the one who's in love? The one who's in love. Willie, yeah. the tall one, the one that has the scar on the chin. Oh, the uh, the appendicitis scar. <laughs> <laughs> now appendicitis is on the stomach. You see, if, if yeah, I know, but Willie was ticklish down there, so they had to operate. <laughs> Uh, how is Willie? Willie? Mm. Oh, Willie broke his back, you know. Oh, broke his back? Mm hmm On account of he's left-handed. <laughs> broke his back because he's left-handed? Mm hmm You see, he had a donut in his right-hand pocket, and when he tried to take it out with his left hand... Broke he... his back? Yeah. <laughs> well, the next time he's got a donut in his right-hand pocket, tell him to try to take it out with his right hand. Well, that's hard to do when you got your pants on backwards. <laughs> pants on backwards? Mm-hmm. You see, he, he was wearing two pair of pants. He had one on frontward and one on backwards. So that he could go either way. Yeah. <laughs> that's when the truck hit him. The, uh, the truck? Mm -hmm. What truck? The truck that didn't have its lights lit. Well, why didn't the truck have its lights lit? Because he had his pants hold on. It, hold it, hold it, hold <laughs> it. The man in the truck have his pants on backwards, or did Willie have his pants on backwards? Oh, George, you're trying to confuse I'm me. I'm confusing you, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Willie had his pants on but backwards. But the man in the truck, why didn't he have his lights lit? Hmm? <laughs> the man in the truck, why didn't he have his lights lit? Because he didn't have to. It was in the daytime. <laughs> well, if it was in the daytime, didn't he see your brother coming? Oh, he didn't know it was my brother. <laughs> he didn't? No. <laughs> he just saw two pair of pants coming towards him, so he drove Between right... Between them. Yeah. <laughs> this, uh, this family of yours, they fascinate me. Did you all live together? Well, there was my father, my uncle, and my brother, my cousin, my nephew. They all slept in one bed. I'm surprised your grandfather didn't sleep with them. <laughs> well, my, my grandfather used to sleep with them, but he died, so they made him get up. <laughs> uh, if you please, Professor. <laughs> Gracie, is um, your sister Bessie here tonight? No, Bessie couldn't come here tonight on account of her canary is hatching an ostrich egg. The canary is hatching an ostrich egg. Mm -hmm. But the canary is too small to cover the egg. So? So, uh, Bessie has to sit on the egg and hold the canary in her... <laughs> Music. Mm -hmm. Stop. Bessie, um, how's she feeling? Well, Bessie? Bessie, yes. Well, Bessie's all right, but oh, the other night she woke up in the middle of the night and she let out the most awful scream. What, uh, what happened? Well, she looked down and her feet had turned black. Well, what did you do? We sent for a doctor. What the, what the doctor do? Just took off her stockings and we all went back. <laughs> Music. <laughs> Your sister Bessie's been married a long time, hasn't she? Uh huh. You know, she has eight sets of twins now. Eight sets of twins? Mm hmm. See, her husband. Uh, made bookends for a living, and this affected their whole lives. <laughs> Music.
ladies and gentlemen, we'd, we'd love to do a little more, but we're not prepared. I am. <laughs> you see, in television, if my brother was here, you know, I could do an act all by myself. You're, uh, you're, you're allowed my to do just... My brother is here, you know, so I have to work alone. You're allowed to do just so much. <laughs> my poor brother. And, uh, this is only held up a half hour so. It was held up by two men. Two men held up my brother. They, uh, they told us. Two men held him up, my poor brother. We're not by two men. Two men, I'll let my brother too. Yes, two men, I'll let my two men. Two men, two men. Two men, your brother. Yes, two men. What's held up? By two men. Uh huh. Where? All the way home. Uh, which uh, which brother is this? Oh, Harvey. Harvey, oh, the, the one with the high blood pressure, yeah. Yes, yeah, the one you know he sleeps on the floor to, to keep, keep it down. down. Yes. Uh, how is Harvey? 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 Oh, he's fine. Oh, you know, Harvey isn't in jail anymore. Oh, really? Well, mm -hmm. I'm glad to hear that. That's See, nice. he got out of jail because he's such a great artist. Got out of jail because he's a great artist? Mm-hmm. You see, uh, he painted... You see, he's an artist. He paints, you yeah. see. So he painted a picture of an open window on the wall of his cell. Yeah. You see? Mm -hmm. So then when the guards came in to close the window, he walked out through the door. <laughs> Brother. Well, I'm glad that Harvey is not in jail anymore. I'm glad he's out. What? I'm glad Harvey is out. I'm glad oh, he's not yeah. in jail. I'm glad yeah. he's out. Yeah, so is his wife, Rover. <laughs> well, I'm... Rover? His wife's name is Rover? Uh-huh. You see, when she was a little girl, you know, she moved next to our family, see, mm -hmm. next door. So uh, one day, our mother told all of us kids, she said, it thought it would be kind of nice if we called her Rover. <laughs> We did. <laughs> uh, music. me to do, and I hope you're satisfied. <laughs> Everything you wanted, I did. Yeah. I was never so embarrassed in my whole life. <laughs> you know, it's the most embarrassing thing. Imagine me having to go through this just because Gracie doesn't show up. I've never heard of it. Yeah. I'll never do that again for a million dollars. Why? Yeah. Why? The show is over, and you're a good sport. And Jack, I'm going to take you to dinner. I don't care. But... <laughs> to dinner? <laughs> All right, wait till, I, wait till I get out of this dress. Oh, no, leave it on. I might want to go dancing. <laughs> oh, God! <yeah. laughs> Did you lose this, Cinderella? <laughs> Give me that. Rochester, look. Here, my sponsor's coming today. He's going to see me dressed like this. Look at how do I get out of this girdle? Just cut the string and jump back. <laughs> oh, go out and get me a pair of scissors. Yes, ma'am. George. Well, I don't know where he is now, but he's always in that dressing room. Oh, thank you. Uh, George! 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 Well! <laughs> so this is what George does behind my back. <laughs> look, look, Gracie. Oh, you ought to be ashamed of yourself, you, 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 you barefoot hussy, you. <laughs> Gracie, don't you recognize my voice? I'd recognize that voice anywhere, Tallulah. <laughs> Of <laughs> course, I'm not blaming you, but George ought to be ashamed of himself. That's the way all men are. When we're young and, and gorgeous and beautiful, they're crazy about us. But the minute men get old and wrinkled and broken down, they're not good enough for us. <laughs> that I don't understand at all. <laughs> well, doll, if you're ready for dinner, I'll take you to... Oh, hello, Grayson. George! Hello, Grayson. Uh, don't speak to me, you two-timer. Look, Gracie. Oh, the minute my back is turned. Gracie. Oh, don't blame it on that poor quivering thing. <laughs> quivering? Go, oh, George. All men are alike, and I hate all men. <laughs> oh, men. Oh, my sponsor. Gracie, not my sponsor. Look at Mr. Lewis. 
Jones. It's me, Jack Bendy. Mr. Bendy, what's going on around here? I come all the way out from New York to talk business with you, and in less than half an hour, I'm kicked by Dean Autry's horse and slapped in the face. <laughs> but look, instead of Mr. Rose, I can explain everything. Every duck is in my office tomorrow morning. Good day, sir. Oh, for heaven's sake. <laughs> I was never so mad in my life. Imagine me letting George talk me into this. Jack Benny, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. Letting it. <laughs> See my, my blue eyes sparkle when I get mad? <laughs> Hello? Hello, Mary. Yeah. I know, I couldn't help it. Look, it wasn't my fault. I didn't want to do it in the first place. George, huh? You liked it? You thought I looked? No. Really? Well, uh, did you see the whole show? You even saw the travelogue? <laughs> we didn't have a travelogue. Oh, oh, on a close-up, you thought you saw Benedict Canyon. <laughs> Mary, I'll explain that to you later. Goodbye. Darn that makeup man. You know, Gracie, the reason you didn't recognize Jack is because he was dressed up like a girl. Well, I still well, don't Well, go in and it. take a look. I just still... Well, Jack, it is you. Well, certainly, Gracie. Where were you all afternoon? Well, I was the first one here, but I, I, I told the stagehand I was hungry, and he suggested I go get a Denver sandwich. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Look, uh, Gracie... Uh... Wait a minute, George. Let me take this. Gracie, you mean to tell me that when you had the urge for a Denver sandwich, you went oh, all the way no, out to... No, no, the bus broke down at San Bernardino. <laughs> uh, Gracie, I, I think you ought to apologize. Oh, well, why? I had nothing to do with the bus breaking down. No, no, no. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, bus, I don't, you know. I, but once my brother I, Willie was I, almost I, run over by, by a bus, bus because he had and, to pay the I know that. Well, Gracie, 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 say, say goodbye to Jack. Oh. Goodbye, Jack. Goodbye, Gracie. Uh, Goodbye, George. Goodbye, Tallulah. <laughs>